Almost 30% of babies are born with some sort of ear deformity. And until recently, surgery or doing nothing at all were the only options. But thanks to an innovative ear mold technology, babies now have a chance to have normal ears. As KVU's Jenny Lee shows us, there's a catch if parents want insurance to cover it. You can still see the outline where yes, four-month-old Isabella's hair was shaved. It had to be done to fit an ear mold like this one. I actually noticed that both of her ears on the top were pinched completely shut, and I really wasn't sure what was going on, but I know it didn't look like anybody else's ears in the family. <laughs> so when Isabella was just two weeks old, mom brought her to see Dr. Jeffrey Cohn, a pediatric cranial facial surgeon. Constricted is where the total length from here all the way around to the top along the rim of the ear is, is collapsed in. And so her ears at birth looked very similar to that. We get a better sense of what Dr. Cohn is talking about in these before and after photos. In the before images, Isabella's ear rims are flat. Dr. Cohn says there is no space in between them. Thanks to the ear mold called ear well, it created the space or valley. But there's a catch. This procedure must be done right when the baby is born, when the baby is one to two weeks old. That's when the success rate is 90%. At just three weeks old, that success rate drops to 50%. After the baby's born, they have a malleable cartilage. It doesn't have memory of its shape. It'll gain memory quickly in the first few weeks of life. Adhesive keeps the molds on the baby's ears typically for four to six weeks, changing out molds about three times. Another major advantage of getting the procedure done early is insurance coverage. It gets harder. It takes a pretty extreme shape to an ear uh, to get it covered by insurance. When your baby grows up. Jenny Lee, KVU News. The FDA approved the ear well back in 2014.